Hello, I am back. Uh, my name's Sherry and welcome to Practical Stitches. Now I thought it would be neat if uh, my first video was just come sew with me. And I am going to be making Vogue 8869. I know, it's a hat. <laughs> Very exciting. So I'm going to be making this, well they're both the same. Just two different colors. It's the only difference. And I've always wanted to try this pattern. I believe it is still available. Um, I just got it actually in the fall because I really wanted to try it. So it also has the flat cap and then a bucket hat. And there's all kinds of patterns for bucket hats right there. But I thought this hat was really different because it sort of almost get that fedora vibe. And I did make it and I gave it to a friend for Christmas and she said she got lots of compliments on it. And I know that it's supposed to be a men's hat, but I think it's kind of like a unisex hat, really. Doesn't mean you can't wear it, so. I'm going to make one and um, I am inviting you to come and sew with me. Okay, let's cut this out. I have all the pieces of the hat interfaced. I'm using denim and interfacing from my shop and it's quite substantial. It is difficult to iron on. You have to use really high heat and really press on it like slowly to get it to stick. It does stick, but uh, I find sometimes if you're not super patient, you miss a spot. But that is okay for this project. Um, And I am using denim, so how much interfacing I really need. But because of the style of the hat, now I don't have the picture, it needs to be quite stiff. So, I, and we are making view D. So I usually sew the lining pieces together and press them and have them all ready. And... This is what, this is probably what I find the most tricky part about sewing this together because uh, you have to sew this into this big long curved area and it doesn't look like it's, this might be easier to show you, be able to see. It's not a lot of maneuvering. So, and I believe I just finished telling you about the interfacing pieces, marking them because the pattern for the brim front and back are so similar, it's hard to tell the difference. So there, I probably said that twice. So we're just gonna sew this together. This isn't really a tutorial. It's just a, let's make a thing. And we're gonna see how this turns out that awkward using a quarter inch seam allowance and making a hat because some of the curves are quite tight and it's a little awkward. Where I use navy thread, maybe? No, you can't see. So from here to here, I had a little pucker in there. Actually, it was right there. You can still kind of see it fixed. So now need to clip the crown part of the uh, hat, not the round part, just the crown. And need to press this somehow. That's a difficult part as well. But... So 
So this is the lining of the inside of the hat. You don't have to use this fancy a lining. You can use muslin. It's only a denim hat, so really, I just had that, so I used it. So the front to the back, front to the back. And this is why this is helpful, because you can easily put them the wrong way. Where? Now I can't. But front. Back. Front. You're not supposed to do that. And they are so similar. I don't, like, they don't match very good, but not by a lot. There's only, yeah, you, know, you can easily get them mixed up because then you sew this piece together. So these are your side seams. Oh, the glare is so bad. So these are your side seams, and or they go on the side of your head, and the front and the back is in the center of each for the front and the back, which it's usually the other way around, but where it's two pieces and not all one piece. So that can be confusing. That's why I say mark it, and then after you turn it inside out, you still have to know which way it goes. So I finished filming a whole bunch of stuff, and my camera was running. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm going to have to go to bed. this wrong. Yes, I did. See? This is when you make mistakes. Well, I hope the lighting's better this time. I tried. I'm out of practice of doing this. So, but I haven't seemed to have forgotten that word. <laughs> I have sewn the brim together. I transferred my markings. And while I was doing this, I was thinking, why didn't I think of this earlier? Just put uh, one notch here and two notches for the back. Like when you cut this out so you don't get them mixed up. Duh. I don't know why I never thought of that until now. But anyway. So I have them marked because this is all top stitched. As you can see and I still have thread sticking to it and lint not too bad on the pattern it shows you where to mark where to do your top stitching I didn't do that I just used my presser foot for four lines of stitching not a big deal. If you don't like doing I just used my presser foot as a guide and it worked out. So now I have to sew this hat together. Hmm. That's my dryer. Now how do I do this? the right sides together or does it matter? It must be. Yes, it would be. Right sides together. And that's the front. Where's the front of my hat? This is the front of my hat. There's the front. Goodness. So this together. I have it all pinned on there. It's starting to look like a hat. Yes. I'm excited. So, I'm just going to do this. And hopefully we can maneuver it. It's pretty stiff to maneuver around. 
I'm going to get over here so I can see. Um, okay, it's This would probably be better for me to do on my industrial, but this way you can see that you can do it on any type of machine. Staying together well, so far so good. Fingers crossed. Okay, we're coming to a juncture. How's it going? It's going. Check this before I go finishing things. Ooh, are you ready to see? Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. In the hat. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. It's so cool. What do you think? I look like a... I don't know. I think this is a cool hat. Of course it's not finished. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna put... I was just too excited. I had to try it on. What do we got? No puckers, so that means, or well, a little tiny bit there. We got some threads hanging out. Where did you come from? Get out! Get out! Get out of my hat! Can't see. Oh, I will definitely be making more of these. Yes. Okay, that's my favorite part. So now I'm going to sew the grow green ribbon on. I'm going to trim this a little bit and clip it some more. And then, where's my grow green ribbon? I have some. There it is, way up there. I'm going to trim this, I'm going to sew the grow cream ribbon on, and then I'm going to sew a line of stitching along here, which you're not going to see, and the band that comes with this pattern fits right on top of the hat. And it fits on there, hopefully, perfectly. Is it gonna? Grow grain ribbon will bring it in a little bit. Oh, it's perfect. Oh yeah. What do you think? Ta-da! Ribbon sewn on. So. You sew that over your last line of stitching and it's going to cover up all this. So I'm going to press this. I'm going to press that in. This is my favorite part of making the hat because it's the last step. And I think it's so cool. It's not even attached. It's so 
and then you can hand sew it to your lining but I like to press this and then I just sew it because I actually like the top stitching line here and if you put a band or something on it you can't see it anyway I just think that it is more stable because that is going to get a lot of stress pulling on and off your head so I prefer to sew it so I'm going to do that yes I call this a uh, the sweat collector very sexy name anyway that's where your ribbon goes make sure I don't think I like this band anyway. I can't believe I did that. Mm. Mistakes were made. Anyway, what do you think? Okay, gonna have the hair going. Where's the back? <laughs> I think this hat's a little big for me. This is a size large. I can't remember what the measurements were. Does it say on the pattern? Yes, it does. A large is 23 and three quarters. Good thing I have gloss on because I still can't read. So, and you flip it up. Just to take my glasses off. Oh, you see how loose it is on me. But some people have, everybody has different size head. Oh, I like this. Now, I made a medium for my friend. Now I can't even see it at all. My goodness, it looks like I have very black eyes. Oh, I'm quite pleased with this. Can you see? What does this say? 23 and 3 quarters. Medium is 23. Maybe I made her small. I think I made a medium though. I can't remember. And the medium didn't fit me. So you gotta be careful using different fabrics. I'll we'll change maybe the size. I don't know. I used a suiting fabric to make her like a houndstooth. And of course, I didn't take a picture, because why would I do that? But look at my cool hat. It looks like it needs to press there. Oh, look at the hair going with it. I think I'm buying more wrinkles in than I took out. But I think that is very cool. I like this hat. What do you think? Would you make a hat like this? No, I could. I've seen. Oh, I don't even have it on straight. There, now I can see. I suppose I could turn it down in the back. Do it that way. Now I'm playing with my hat. I think that it turned out pretty good. It's uh, different. That's why it's important to get that uh, nice shape for the top. But I think that's a neat hat and it would make a nice gift for someone. It's a little different. Or maybe you like selling at craft markets and stuff. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Anyway. 
So if you enjoyed this type of video of hanging out with me while I was sewing this hat together, tune in again and I am going to add this to the hat series. So if you go to my playlist on my channel, I have a series of videos just about hats. So this will be another one in the, in the range of things. And I might try in the future to make this uh, bucket hat, but I will definitely be making more of these. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see them at Men's Fabrics or Practical Stitches, either one. Or you can follow me on both. So that's it for me this week. See you soon. Bye.